Shalom, I'm Rabbi Leo D and I'm here to transform your day. Today's topic is thinking fast and thinking slow. This great book by Professor Daniel Kahneman, winner of the Economics Nobel Prize, called Thinking Fast and Thinking Slow, where he describes two mechanisms that human being uses to think. There's a fast system which is basically instinctive and there's a slow system which is used for more complicated problems. There's a beautiful video that goes with the book where Professor Kahneman takes volunteers for a walk and asks them to count backwards from 100 in steps of seven. Typically they go 100, 93, 86, and then they'll stop and they'll go 79, 72, 65. And the reason for that, says Professor Kahneman, is that when we're using the slow system of thought, which we need for more complicated problems, we can't really do very much else. And therefore you have to stop. Therefore, estimates Professor Kahneman, we use the fast system probably 98% of our lives and only 2% of our lives is actually spent thinking deep thoughts. Well, I think this goes some way to explain one of the more difficult questions of Jewish thought, which is if the Torah and the mitzvot help us to become more ethical, more moral beings, well, why do I need so many rituals? Why do I need so many details? For example, why are the 39 categories of work I can't do on Shabbat? And does God really care which spoon I use, a milky or meaty one, to stir my tea? Well, another piece of research done in America actually could help explain this as well. You see, researchers looked at American libraries and searched to find which categories of books were the worst offenders for non-return. And what they were surprised to find was that actually moral philosophy books were not returned back to the library more than most other categories. Well, they were surprised. Surely moral philosophers are those who think most about moral issues. They're the most likely to return the books and to worry about these issues. According to Professor Kahneman, however, we can understand. Just because you spend 2% of your life thinking about something does not mean that that other 98% of your life is going to be affected. And therefore, perhaps we have an answer to our Jewish question, which is that all these little details that we do throughout our lives, these little instinctive things that we do through the mitzvot, tune us to become more moral by tuning our instinctive, fast system of thought so that as we live our lives, the 98% of our time can be lived in a more moral way. Have a great day.